My name is Miriam Kaba. I lived in Chicago for over 20 years. And during that time, I had of course heard of and been interested in the life and legacy of Ida B. Wells Barnett. I hadn't, however, heard of the Ida B. Wells Monument Project until early April 2018, when I saw Michelle Duster tweet about it. I learned that a group of volunteers, which included some members of Wells Barnett's family, were trying to raise $200,000 to cover the costs of the monument, and that they had been fundraising for over a decade. On April 9th, 2018, I announced on Twitter that I wanted to raise $10,000 in support of the monument project. I committed to personally donate $1,000 and asked others to join me in making a contribution. We surpassed my initial goal within the day, so I revised my goal to $20,000, which was met within a few more days. I continued to fundraise online and offline, including by organizing a film screening and panel discussion that included Black women journalists like Nicole Hannah-Jones, Jamila Lemieux, and Akiba Solomon. By the time the goal for funding the monument was met in July 2018, thousands of people across the U.S. and Canada had donated with contributions as little as 75 cents. I want to say a word about the 75 cent donation. It came from a student of Greg Mishy, a middle school teacher in a Chicago public school who heard about the Ida B. Wells Monument fundraising on Twitter. Greg talked with his students about Ida's life and work and about the fundraising happening to build the monument. The students wanted to get involved. Together, they began to raise funds. All in all, they donated over $400 to the project, and I believe that this is a fitting example of what Ida's life and work inspire. The children's people-powered grassroots fundraising effort is one I think Wells would be proud of. Ida B. Wells has been a personal touchstone for me over the years. I am so happy that this monument was created in her honor. I am so grateful to have played a small role in making this possible. Ida's effort to complete her autobiography has been described as her attempt to write herself into history. This monument, which people will no doubt visit for years to come from everywhere in the world, cements Ida's place in Chicago's history.